Wow, I've never had the start of a waterfall and the feeding of an Asian watermark. Right. Kind of getting out of the heat of the day. <laughs> this is all for you, Slinky Poo. That cannon, you thought of this last night, right? Yeah, I, Laying I in had bed. Instead of having posts in the middle, yeah. we're gonna do aluminum beams connected okay. to vertical. What I'm thinking, bud, do we do our waterfall here? This is gonna be the Blackthroat monitor enclosure, but I was thinking, you know, does it meander its way down through here? When we're doing residential backyard stuff, we're always taking the waterfall location into consideration. Right. You're transforming everything. So this is going to kind of be almost like a hidden jungle waterfall, yeah. vegetation and that type of stuff. You'll probably hear it from the space. You're not going to see it right. until you actually be... come over to here. It's really about the experience it's... when you're inside Correct. the habitat. We're going to build a bridge over the pond, my friend and I. We'll nice. just build like a really cool bridge yeah. over the pond. Then there'll be another door to get into this other enclosure. And so then you can sit in here. I like the idea. So then let's start this, this way, come yeah. this way, yeah. and then dip, drop it down here, comes underneath, and then the pond goes that direction. That's crazy. Let's do it. Whatever he says he can do in two days, let's do it. <laughs> I have no two, idea. Two days. <laughs> two days, no problem, right, guys? Even though this is an animal enclosure, it's still an ecosystem pond. There are a few things that we're going to do a little different. We have our heavy-duty fabric that's going to go over the liner to keep Slinky. He's going to be rooting around, digging, that type of stuff. If Kenan ends up changing stuff out and maybe another animal eventually comes in here, we want to make sure it's barricaded. You end up throwing a caiman in here yep. 10 years from now. Right. We want to make sure that everything can handle that animal cool. coming in here. The main focus, obviously, Ken is trying to create a really cool experience. You are throwing around ideas, possibly having people come through here, yeah. tours, that type. You know he's on YouTube. He's always showing all of his stuff. He does a phenomenal job showcasing everything here. So this is a mini zoo. Kenan loves to create an experience. He wants to create something natural, an upland environment, you know, more mountainy, you know, higher elevation here, fast moving water coming through, then dropping down to that lowland area where Slinky would Slinky's normally gonna be found. Live. That's gonna be so cool, man. I'm excited. We're gonna get the biofalls position first. We wanna get our plumbing connected. So once we start digging, we can start taking all that soil and we can start filling around okay. this stuff to change those elevations. All right, fantastic. Okay. Here we go. Progress so far. Excavation is just about done. We had to leave our intake bay unexcavated, which is going right here. We're bringing all these muck trucks and everything through here. So we needed a pathway to get in for more fill soil to build this whole area in place. We got to cut out some of that wire mesh that's down here in the bottom, and that's because he's got all of that stuff going underneath everything where the monitors are going. We have the block wall, put in some boulders along the edge, and, but you can see that wire mesh kind of popping up inside of there. So now we're taking concrete and we're mortaring all that stuff in place. So it's impossible for them to dig their way out. Biofalls is set. So our main plumbing line coming in from this way, that's gonna be responsible for the filtration. We'll put in a secondary pump. So this will have a ball valve on it. We'll be able to open that ball valve periodically to back flush and clean out the filter. Trying to build up this whole elevation like Kenan was talking about. He's got two different species of animals coming in here. One is gonna be more of an upland type species, meandering stream going through. And the bottom one is gonna be for Slinky. We're shuffling boulders in, we're bringing in our soil. Things are happening very quickly here so far today. Looking forward to great progress throughout the afternoon.
biofall is completely buried. We are still bringing in more fill soil. We had to cut off our access on the one corner because we had to get that intake bay excavated. And we still have a little bit of access here, which I think we're going to try to keep. This is going to be like a little beach area for Slinky to kind of lounge around in. Also have access going down into that water. We want to really make this bomb proof. We're going to have the heavy duty stuff on the bottom of the liner. Our rubber liner is going to go on top of this and then a secondary layer of this material will go over the top. Animals are not going to be able to dig through this. I, I use this in a lot of zoological exhibits as well as recreational ponds and installations where we're setting very very large boulders. So we started shuffling in some of these boulders from the front. We're going to start doing our stone work and working our way up towards that waterfall. I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> right? Holy smokes, man. <laughs> We're a little over two feet deep. That area way up at the top, that's going to be where the aqua blocks will sit. Okay. That's the separation between the two enclosures. So Perfect. we'll have aqua blocks, the water will go down through it, water's going to flow into the pond. Shallow here, deep hole, the big deep drop off over on this side, we'll have a beach you know, kind of way over in this corner for Slinky. So we'll yep. probably have a little bit of water going there. My gosh, this is great. I'll tell you what, this this area right here does look like it's gonna need a nice bridge. Just seeing Slinky hang out on top of the bridge would be awesome. <laughs> Whoever is the bravest to walk across the bridge gets to walk across and see the other animals. Nice, so I love it. Just a tremendous job as always. I can't wait. And we still have a lot more work to do. Huh? We do. All right, man, let's do it. Let's I'm get ready. to work. I'll see you in a little bit. Yep. Intake bay is getting finished up. Boulder work is going real fast. We also so we just cut a branch down off of one of the existing trees. Love the look of this. I'm always a fan of dropping in logs, driftwood, stumps, and that type of thing. And this kind of is reminding me of the piece that we use over at Michaela's place, the Fox Rescue, Save a Fox, where we had that big branch that went over the entire pond that the foxes were actually able to utilize it's kind of a walkway going over it. If he's just gonna drape himself all over that stuff, hang, tail hanging off into the water. He could hunt for fish, for frogs, that type of stuff down inside of the pond. So again, it's just that really, really cool little detail. It makes all the difference in the world. Wow! Wow! That's good! That's good! All right, that's one now. It's the Pond Professor. All right. right. I, I better see that in every video now. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That actually fits you, Adam. Where you need good. the Australian accent. Yeah. 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 All right, a little project update. Still the Camp Cannon lookalike over here. <laughs> He's starting to rub off on me. It is smoking hot and that sun has beaten on my bald head. So let's go check this thing out. This is a really cool little detail that Cannon, you thought of this last night, right? Yeah, I, Laying I in bed. <laughs> I had a dream. Two lizards living in a subterranean dwelling yeah. happily and uh, it worked. What we did here, and I've done similar things like this before on my channel where we take some of this corrugated large drainage pipe cut it in half, it gives us a nice rigid structure. We just built up a bunker. This is all gonna get filled up with more soil. Remember, this is gonna come up another couple of feet, so this is gonna be hidden. We're gonna cut ourselves a nice plywood piece, cut a hole in the plywood, and we're gonna go with a faux rock skimmer cover from Aquascape that we're gonna have and maybe put some flat rock around it to hold it in place. Then I can peer in or retrieve the animal if I need to, check on its well-being but it will be a naturally insulated by the earth bunker for these animals. The key is, is now we're making it look like part of the landscape and I think that is the true fun. So if you come over here, Ed picked out this great rock and you had a great idea. They really want to feel secure. So they want to squeeze through something because that if they can like get through tight, it, hole, it tight seems open. tight, but I promise you that black throat can definitely get through there. He'll feel good about it because he'll know that predators can't follow him in. He is a predator, but he's also prey at times. So we're, we're trying to give this animal enrichment. We're trying to give it a habitat that really suits the animal's needs. So this is going to be awesome. In some ways, this will help make the habitat become very unique and dialed for the animals we're putting in it. Stream is looking great now as well because we got water in it. So it's I, looking, I now we're starting to see what this big pool is taking shape. I love the little beach areas that we got in here where they can just kind of crawl themselves down inside, have access to all those logs and all that stuff. You know, where they're just gonna be kicking back, relaxing, lounging. If they wanna take a quick dip, they can hop off. Back over here where Glenn is at, we'll probably drop in a couple more big boulders. Glenn had a really great line that I think he should share with you. Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like bougie lizards, they're gonna have a waterfall right outside their front door. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best at the camp. So the final details, pump fault is totally barricaded. Get all that nice little slate work going over that. Still having access for the pumps. 
but we had to barricade it because we didn't want the monitors getting in there. The little enclosure over here turned out awesome. The little opening right here, that's gonna allow the monitors in. Totally insulated up, it's buried in the soil. It's gonna be very, very stable temperature. Loving the way that all that slate and everything looks. This is really incredible. Again, I can't wait to see Slinky, how he interacts in and around all of those little fine little details as we recreate these riparian habitats. I wanted Slinky to be here when we turned the pumps on, so. Oh my gosh. See his new habitat. This is your new, this is all for you, Slinky Poo. Come here. All right, what do you say? So there he is, Slinky's new pond. This is not 100% done yet, but I figured why not get him out here. He's checking it out. This is gonna be his spot. This is awesome. Look at that, Slinky, look at that. Oh, there you go. Wow, yeah, I've never had this. Drink. The start of a waterfall and the feeding of an Asian watermark. Right? That is so cool, right? <laughs> Uh, this is a wrap. We've had a great time out here at Camp Kennan, like we always do. Kennan is a blast to work with. We always have fun collaborating together, coming up with good ideas, it's always pushing us. We always have these unique builds that we have challenges on, which I love. A few things that I think are really unique here. Obviously, one of them is the overall design itself. Having a partition that's going to be built right here, where all of this water disappears down through that gravel bed and it pops out underneath. He's got this really cool log thing. We got those jets underwater to really create that good circulation. Up here, we don't have as much water, but we still have the log going across. We still have all these rocks and boulders and outcroppings and things where those animals can get up, they can bass, they could enjoy the day, or they can get out of the heat of the day by going inside the little enclosure. The other thing I think is kind of unique, look at these darker rocks. These were rocks that we delivered here for part of the original recreation pond build that was up on top. Those rocks you can see have become oxidized. They got that brownish coating on them. So this is what's going to happen all around these rocks. They're going to completely change. You come back here in a year from now, it's going to look completely different. The rocks are going to change. Water clarity is going to be a thousand times better because the filtration will have a chance to work on itself. He's going to have plants in here. He's going to have other structures. This whole thing will be completely covered. So again, this has been a really, really cool project. Glad we were able to help out Slinky. You know, when we heard he was sick, he got sick from that cold snap that came through. We wanted to do something really unique for him. I definitely have to go take a walk up and I have to check out that recreation pond because that thing is still unbelievable. That was two years ago already. Really, really cool project. It is just now starts to get to that maturing process where it actually gets really dialed in. Everything gets easier easier and easier and easier with time when you design and build it properly. Let's go take a quick walk. Well, let's start out down here on the bottom. Here's where some of the tortoises are just chilling, kind of getting out of the heat of the day. <laughs> this actual enclosure was designed specifically for them. We had the overall rec pond going in up on the top, but by making this a negative edge feature. So remember what a negative edge is. A negative edge is where we have this waterfall. We have a body of water up on top. The water cascades down into a subterranean reservoir that's loaded up with our aqua blocks. We have 60 large aqua blocks, which is a 2,000 gallon reservoir. So by having this little area, this little river rock bed, those tortoises can kind of come in here. They actually eat on some of the algae and some of the microorganisms and stuff that are living down in the bottom. Let's just check out that view. Love this waterfall down up down below. As you know, I love working with all those different logs. This is a really cool, gnarly stump over here. We have these logs cutting across and all the vines and everything. I just started to cascade around it. So this is what an ecosystem pond is supposed to do. It gets better and better with time. But just check that out. So really clear water. He's got loaded with cichlids. We have that wetland filter tucked way over on that other side. That was a huge challenge for us to build all that type of stuff. This was an incredible build and it's and it's great to see Ken and Kate and their kids enjoying the space the way it was designed. He's got a little algal growth hopping up in here. He's gonna have to get in here and start cleaning stuff out. But up here in the filter, it's actually a really, really good thing. You want all that junk growing in there because all that stuff is removing nitrogen from the water. So all that stuff is an important part of the biological process. <laughs> Look 
That's what a recreation pond is about right there. You've got plants, you've got fish, you've got natural water, and this is water the way nature intended it. <laughs>